everybody, this is Andrew with HM5, and uh, we're doing another unboxing video today. Now, I uh, backed a board game last year on Kickstarter, and because uh, I'm really, really into miniature board games, as you can see behind me in my collection here. Uh, so the game I backed is called Sea of Legends. Here it is. I just got this yesterday, and uh, what it is is a miniatures board game by Guildhall Studios. And the game is actually developed to play uh, one to four players, and you actually use an app that they're currently developing and set to release, not at the time of the recording of this video, uh, but in the next few weeks. Uh, but the story is actually driven through the app that you play um, in unison with the board game itself. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, we got rule book which actually did go onto their website and uh, clegends.com and they have a PDF of the rule book on there as well. Anyways, we got the board here, which I'll actually do close-ups of these um, after I do the initial opening up of everything right now. <laughs> so we got some tokens. And uh, actually I like these cases for the minis. Uh, they actually have the tray for the minis and actually a plastic cover on top, which is awesome because uh, sometimes if you've ever gotten a minis board game or if you're avid into this stuff, sometimes the games come and they're just the tray, but they don't have a cover over top of it, so they always pop out when you're opening a box. Uh, so there's more tokens and then the good stuff inside, which they actually got a nice tray for the bigger guys too. So I'll go ahead and uh, set these out individually so we can get close-ups on them. And now one thing I noticed when I was taking these out, uh, they actually provide you extra bags inside a bag. So uh, actually it could be bags or, let me take a look, it could be sleeves maybe. And perhaps this is for your actual class cards. Oh no, they're bags. Um, but let's go ahead and, uh, actually before I get into a few more things, I forgot I wanted to show off the dice. So here's some of the dice. I'll give a closer look on these too but they have symbols on them. And then there's actually some blue ones here. But I know everyone's favorite thing is the minis, which I'm gonna do next. <laughs> so, some other dice. And of course you got different symbols on these. Pretty nice. All right, so let's get to some of the minis here, because that's what you guys really wanna see. 
So here's one of them. And I like the size of these, actually. They're pretty heavy duty, too, which is nice. This is a very cool looking monster. Kind of like a skeleton type of pirate guy. This is probably my favorite. This one's really cool. So, before I move to some of the smaller minis, um, I'll show off the tokens for you guys. So, some closer look at the tokens here. So, I haven't punched these out, obviously. But you got your coins. Skeleton hands. Other tokens here. We got a bunch of skulls. I believe this is the first player token here, so... I believe it's double-sided. Yep, player one. Now let's get to some of the smaller tokens here. So here you go. And then, got kind of like a pirate guy on a chest. And then we actually got some little ships. And then I'll actually go ahead and uh, open up the map here so we can take a really close look at the map. Flip it around so it so here's the map. Now, this is actually pretty nice. I like the way it looks. I'll try to tip this down. But it looks like they got separations here for probably where you'll move your characters around. Different islands. Um, obviously, I have not read the uh, instructions yet or all of the rules. I read a, a bit of a brief overview of how to set the game up. Um, so I'll have to see what, you know, a lot of these symbols mean, but um, regardless, the, the map's very nice. It's it's a little small. I was actually, uh, wasn't sure if it'd be a little bigger um, for those of you that may have played like um, Massive Darkness or um, Zombicide. You know, the maps can get quite large depending on the amount of players you have. So it, it's a pretty, kind of like a medium size here. Uh, it takes up about half the table I have uh, right now. Um, of course, that's only a four-foot table, but uh, so that's kind of what the map looks like And the box actually has a Looks like a book which is pretty cool, so Let's see if we can get it put together here There we go, so as you can see has a look of kind of like a large book. You got the characters on the front. So anyways, that's uh, Sea of Legends, a really quick kind of look at the, all the components inside the box and uh, the, the minis and everything. And uh, I'm pretty excited to start playing this game. So I'm gonna see if uh, I can learn the rules here pretty soon. And uh, maybe Adam and I will do a short gameplay on the channel. Uh, but until then, thanks you guys, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, leave a comment, like down below, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Alright, see you, bye!